Hi guys, it's Sandy. So right now it is so difficult to find disinfectant wipes, disinfectant spray. I made a video on how to make disinfectant wipes using alcohol and when using bleach. Well, alcohol is so hard to find, but according to the CDC, there is another disinfectant that we can use against the coronavirus and other viruses in our home. And that is hydrogen peroxide. It's in the first aid aisle. Most of you probably have it at home in your first aid kits. So think about it. Whenever you get a wound, you take it, and the hydrogen peroxide, and you put on the wound and it bubbles up and it gets the germs out and it disinfects your wound. Well, think about that in the cleaning world also, how it will disinfect when you use it as a cleaner. You can use it for so many uses around the house, but right now you can use it towards disinfecting and fighting the coronavirus. Let me show you how to do this according to the Center for Disease Control guidelines. So you guys, you will need a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. You can find this, obviously I found this at Walmart, you can find it in any drugstore. In the first aid aisle is usually where you find this. And then it's very important to keep it in a dark bottle. That's why it comes in a dark bottle because you have to keep it in a dark bottle. Otherwise, once it hits the light, then it starts to become unstable. So you can use this in a couple different ways. You can just keep it full strength and use it as a 3% hydrogen peroxide. In that case, one way to use it is just putting it on a paper towel and then wiping off whatever you need to wipe off. According to the CDC, hydrogen peroxide is an effective disinfectant it has been shown to kill the rhinovirus, and that is why they have also um, put it in their guidelines that it can be used to fight against coronavirus. So just wipe off all of our handles, our door handles, the handles to our sinks. We wipe off our light fixtures also. Things that you don't even think about that you're touching can hold the virus right on the surface. And then really important to clean our phones. We have our phones in our hands so often and don't even think about how dirty that they are. So phones are something that you absolutely need to clean off often. And then whatever you have wiped off needs time to sit and dry. According to the CDC, you need to leave a surface wet for six to eight minutes and let it just air dry if you use a 3% solution and that will disinfect the area. Now you might want to use a spray bottle for this. If so, just remember that you only want to use a very small amount because once it hits the light, it becomes unstable. Now I know that my bottle here says bleach because that's what I used to have in here, but I poured it out and I'm just using this bottle now. Whenever you come home from the store, that's another thing that is recommended is to clean off the products that we've brought home into our house because the coronavirus can live on those products. So spraying them off is one thing that you can do, but I wanna show you how wet that is. Um, granted, I should have had the spray on instead of spraying straight towards everything, I could have made it a little wider, but the um, cans are really wet this way. Another thing you could do instead is just spray a paper towel and then wipe off all of your products instead and then let them air dry once again. And the second way of making this is making a solution of hydrogen peroxide, which also is very effective. Just know that the time that it needs to sit is a longer period of time. So I'm gonna use the same spray bottle and I'm gonna make a one and a half percent solution. So what I'm gonna do is use water. I'm gonna use distilled water or a purified water because I don't want the water that comes out of the tap. The water that comes out of the tap has chlorine in it and fluoride in it and other bacteria in it that we don't want in our disinfectants. So what I'm gonna do, if I was making a big batch, then I would do a half a cup of water and a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. You wanna do a half solution. But remember, as soon as it leaves the dark bottle, then it starts to become unstable, and we don't want that. So we wanna just make enough solution for what we need at that time. So I will, I'm will. i gonna make a smaller batch because of that. I don't want um, a large batch of a, half, of a whole cup. So I'm gonna make a half a cup. So I'm gonna do one fourth cup of water, and, yep, and then I'm gonna do one fourth cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide and that'll take me up to a half a cup total right here. So now you know it's a one-to-one -one measurement. So if you just need a very small amount, then do um, 
two tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide and two tablespoons of water or whatever you need. So I'm gonna do one fourth cup and one fourth cup, which equals a half a cup. So I have a half a cup of a 1.5% um, solution here now. I'm gonna pour it into my bottle. I'm much better pouring this one than straight out of the other bottle. Didn't spill it as much. Pour it into my bottle, put on my um, nozzle, and now I have another solution. This solution is also a good solution. It is more diluted. According to the CDC, a 3% hydrogen peroxide needs to sit wet on a surface for six to eight minutes, and a 1.5% solution needs to sit wet on a surface for 18 to 20 minutes, and then you have an effective disinfectant. So I'm going to spray my surface. So I take my paper towel, I wipe it all around very lightly, and now it's sitting on here wet. And now it needs to sit here for 15 to 20 minutes. So 15 to 20 minutes is how long this needs to sit just to make a good disinfectant. So you guys, I really hope this helps. It gave you another alternative instead of just alcohol and bleach and Lysol and Clorox wipes that we need. But um, you can make your own disinfectant using hydrogen peroxide. A great disinfectant is alcohol also though, and I'll link the video on how to make your own disinfectant wipes that are very effective. But according to the Center for Disease Control, this is also an effective disinfectant. Hit that like button below, it really helps me out. Hit subscribe and hit that bell. And until next time, I'm out.